So this tool is a free and also not a free FRP and password unlocking tool for your devices. But I'm going to show you how you can get this tool. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to pay anything to get this tool. All you have to do is to know how to activate the tool officially. So it's not a crack. The tool works perfect. I will show you how to operate the tool and also the tool needs an activation key. I'm going to share the activation key to you after showing you how to operate the tool and showing you how to run the tool on your PC without getting any error and do unlocking smoothly. So we are just going to rush into the video and don't forget to get my new ebook from the link in the video description and also you can download the tool from the link in the video description. If you come to the Qualcomm tab, you will see brand new C model and you will see loader. I've uploaded unlocking tool videos showing you how you can use loader files to do FRP to unlock FRP on your Android phone and also you can download these loader files on my website which I have the link in the video description. Also the link of the tool is in the video description. So if you have a phone to unlock, all you have to do you open the tool. Check if the phone uses a MediaTek CPU or Qualcomm or Spectrum CPU. So if it's a Qualcomm CPU, all you have to do, you come right here, you check the brand, then you check the models that are supported. If you check, click on any brand, you will see, you will see the models that are supported. Or you can just leave it to auto. So how can you do the unlocking now? Your phone needs, so how can you do the Qualcomm FRP or screen lock unlocking? The phone needs to be connected in EDL mode and if you don't know how to get your phone connected in EDL mode, check the video that I just talked above or check the video in the video description and you will see a video in which I'm showing you how you can get any phone into EDL mode. So if you leave it at auto, any phone that you connect in EDL mode, if you press unlock, if you press unlock, it's going to automatically select the current model and the co correct brand right here and go to unlock it. But if it fails, that means that the, br that the brand, either the brand is not here or either the model is not here. So keep that in mind. And also we have the account log. You select the type of account log that you want to do. If it's a Google account, a Xiaomi account, you can use all this right here. And also if you want to factory reset the, the phone, your phone, then you will do this right here so you can see the options if you come to the mediatek tab which is for mtk devices you will see we have the brand the model we are not going to talk about that it's same as the qualcomm section but you can load the preloader file or the diagen file right here all you have to do you double tap on that and i don't recommend using this except that you really know much about software but that's not a big deal so also account you select the type of uh, account that you want to do but for this section we have just method one and method two you try this if it doesn't work you try the second one if you want any of this you select it just like that and very smooth so if you come right here to flash you can flash your scattered file right here you can do that you can also back up the the operating system right here so if you come to fast boot yeah, your phone needs to be connected in fast boot. Okay, for the media take, your phone needs to be connected in preloader mode or pro mode. So you need to keep that in mind. All you have to do, switch off the phone, press and hold the volume up or the volume down or both volume up and down, depending on the model. So it's always different depending on the model. So you press the volume up and the volume down at the same time when the phone is off. Meanwhile, you have clicked. For example, meanwhile, you have clicked on unlock right meanwhile you have click on unlock right here when you do that it's going to wait for the device as you can see all you have to do press the volume up and the volume down of the mobile phone connect your usb cable after installing the drivers you need to make sure that the drivers are installed you can also download that on my website when you do that it's going to detect the phone then do the unlocking coming to fast boot still the same thing right here still the same thing the only difference is that you cannot select the model right here you just have to get your phone into fast boot mode when the phone is connected to fast boot mode you will have these options these are the things that you can do if you have been watching my videos lately you will see me unlocking phones through fast boot just like that and very smooth and we have the spectrum option a lot of people have been looking for tools that can support spectrum frp so if you check you will see all the models you can also select auto detect right here so we have the ADB FRP, your phone needs to be connected in ADB. I don't think this 
will be useful uh, most of the time because yeah hard to see a phone that needs frp and has adb debugging enabled so that's hard but we have this you can factory reset your phone using this option so for the uh, spectrum devices it's mostly the volume down button that you press then connect your usb cable and it's going to detect the dipod just like that and very smooth if you don't if it doesn't connect after pressing the volume down then try the volume up so right now i will show you how you can get the store running on your pc how you can activate the tool just like that and very smooth so make sure you follow my steps after downloading this tool, just follow my steps to install and activate the tool. Without the activation, you won't be able to use the tool. So after downloading the tool, you will have two WinRAR files. All you have to do is extract the files using the password from my website. And you will click on the first file that has the exe file. So all you have to do is install this file first. And I will show you what you have to do with the next one. You click next or you can select the folder in which you want to install the tool in. Select this one to create a desktop shortcut. Okay, just like that and very smooth. As you can see, the tool is done installing. All you have to do, click here and also, if you are finding difficulties installing the tool, just turn off your antivirus and it will be good. Click on finish, just find the, the, the icon and launch the tool on your desktop. Just click on the icon and wait for the tool to open and I will show you the next thing to do. Okay, great. You will see that the tool launch and here you might think that okay, the tool is okay to use. You cannot use the tool in this stage. All you have to do go back to the folder where you extracted the files and you come to this folder. Then launch this. We are going to generate the activation key. Just follow my steps so that the tool will run perfectly on your PC. So when you open it, you will have this. All you have to do copy this key that's the id paste it here when you do that click on generate when you click on generate it's going to generate this this key right here and all you have to do press ctrl c on your keyboard to copy it and come back to the login option paste the key and click on login and you are good to go so as you can see very simple and very smooth 